one back in the Como Bernice and the galaxy which is called Needle Galaxy. I will write the NGC number also. Uh, thanks to the go to system of the Meet ETX uh, uh, Meet uh, LX90 ACF. Since I've changed the from audio star to the auto star, auto guide, it's just easy to find everything. So uh, it's, it's relatively bright compared to the fainter galaxies like the Higgs 161, uh, the box galaxies group. It's quite uh, easy to see. You can see and you can actually guess that it's a little bit like the Sombrero Galaxy actually, in a way. It's a fainter version of it. It's, it's, uh, um, of course, the uh, Sombrero I looked at with the 12 inch uh, Lapsonian. This is an 8 inch uh, Schmidt Cassegrain. But yet I can see a good number of details. You can see this elongated galaxy. It has a brighter core. It's almost edge on to us. And there is a faint dark lane in the middle somewhere. And uh, we have to use averted vision to see that faint there. Uh, I use the uh, 30 millimeter APMHDC. Now I'm back, gone to the 9 millimeter Skywatch Myriad. It's quite visible in this field of view of this uh, telescope. This eyepiece. I suppose with the using of this eyepiece, I'm actually achieving what I could see with the 12 inch Sapsonian. Don't be afraid to use the magnification if you can. And uh, that's my recommendation. If you want to see details, you have to use some magnification. Of course, for finding, you have to use a finder, eyepiece, then, of course, bring it to the center, then change to the medium power, like 13 millimeter or 17 millimeter eyepiece. Then you can go to nine. Uh, 9 is the easiest one. I can go to 5 or uh, 5 myriad or 8 millimeter eaters. I, I think this 9 millimeter myriad is really versatile, a really good eyepiece. And the thing is that uh, a satellite passes you, even <laughs> nowadays it's impossible to avoid them. When you are looking at a dim object like a galaxy, suddenly a satellite, bright, bright, quote, dazzles your eyes, <laughs> ruins your night vision, actually. A dark adaptation, <laughs> it gets ruined partially. <laughs> you have to adapt again to the darkness. It really annoys us. I Elon Musk. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, it's really typical, typical American vandalism. <laughs>